Hi everyone, welcome back to Empyrean Galactic Survival, uh, version 1.7, story-led playthrough, in vanilla mode. I'm the Gazbeard. Thanks to everybody who is subscribing, and returning, and watching the videos, and leaving comments. I appreciate it all. So does the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> Right, we are out and about in the Gun Bunny, and the Gun Bunny has got some new toys. If I just switch to external view, you can see I've used two of the fixed gun slots in the chin to add a couple of mining lasers. And I was able to do that because um, I had been forgetting to unlock technologies as I leveled up. And when I did finally remember to go and have a look and see what I had available, I'd leapt forward to about level 22 or 23, and I had somewhere seriously north of a thousand uh, skill points to apply, which let me unlock an absolute shed load of stuff. And that then let me add these or make and add these uh, laser drills to the gun buddy among other things that's given me the opportunity to get out and to start doing some rock munching spitting gravel and teeth and getting the resources that we need in this case this is the third sathium asteroid in a row that I've found since I jumped to this moon which is all still in the starter system. Um, I couldn't believe three Sathium asteroids in one moon orbit. Absolutely amazing. So I'm not turning it down. I'm uh, taking advantage of it, but I will be heading back to base after this one because we is full and I'm taking serious risks now with the amount of materials that I've mined and also refined because all of the, the waste rock I've been converting into silicon ore as we've been going round. It's one of the reasons the Gun Bunny has got two SV constructors on her and it allows me to refine some of the lower level materials as we go around, take some of the stress off the constructors at the base. And as you can see, I'm picking up a lot of stone. It's just the nature of it. Because of where the the drills are posi positioned, I can't actually see where I'm drilling, and I'm having to um, basically guess it based on where the rock is exploding below the dashboard um, and hope that I'm getting more ore than I am stone. Which, generally speaking, I am. And it helps when the asteroids have got nice big fat uh, nuggets like this in them, rather than the skittery thin veins that I was getting in the last, ast last asteroid that I was visiting. Um, one of the other things that I've found is that this is the second moon that I've visited that has got um, a trader's way station um, and a trader's refinery. This one's got a gas refinery. Um, the one in the previous moon that I visited had a ore refinery, I believe it was. Full list of ores available to purchase, which is fantastic, and a good backup, especially as I've not found very much in the way of a restroom in this uh, system so far. There was a tiny little bit on roggery and I sometimes get a little bit from surface rocks but nowhere near enough to take care of our needs. Um, one of the great things about the last moon that I was at it had two Zascosium asteroids which is going to keep us going for quite some time. Um, and hopefully it'll keep us going until the asteroid respawns and refills. Because as you know, in 
Empurion, the resources do respawn. I think, I don't hold me to this, but I think it's one in-game day before they respawn. I honestly have no idea, I just know that they do the reasonable regularity and enough of a regularity to keep us going especially in solo mode although again around Roggery itself in the orbit of Roggery itself two of the three Prometheum asteroids had not respawned when I was out mining them before I came out to this other planet get it, come on get it finally um, but it may just be that I hadn't given them long enough now what has been happening is since I've been able to get out I mean obviously the purchase of much needed ores in the last episode from the uh, trading station, refinery, whatever it was, um, has allowed me to make a bunch of stuff that I desperately needed. We've now got um, certain ores are coming out of our ears. We are overflowing with it because with the equipment that I was able to make from the ores that I bought, we're now able to pull in as much as we want on certain things. Now, I also discovered how to put way markers on the map. So, let me just show you. Um, go to map, press M to go to map, zoom in, make sure you've got your asteroid or whatever you want on the map, and right click on it. Make sure the POI's name is here, in this case Sathium Asteroid. I'm using this marker for resources, make sure that's clicked. Move your mouse off it and back on, you see if I click it it goes off, click it again it stays on. The hood on, put the hood off to make sure it doesn't come up on the hood. Click the waypoint and accept it. It now lists it over here and it shows it here in the map. When I come out, it, I, if anybody knows how to fix this, let me know, because they're showing on the HUD, even though I've set them all to not show on the HUD. And you can see the ones from the previous moon that we were at are showing over there. Now, I'd like them to not show unless I came into the orbit of the moon in question. Now, the other thing that's working, that was not working in the last episode seems to have been a, a micro patch come out is if I go in not the map if I go into my inventory the explorer tokens are back yay so that means that we can now see how many we've got much easier and we can go hand them in so I'm gonna go ex do a quick flyby on this moon get the explorer token for that and I need to eat, I've just noticed, so bear with me a second. Fridge, where's the fridge? Up a bit. Quick core thruster. Where's my fridge? There they are. Um, upper, I believe I put it in. Yep, there we are. I'm going to have myself a burger. Om nom 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 nom. I'm going to have two burgers. I didn't realise I was that hungry. But I'll take it. I'm going to need to refuel and reoxygenate the gun bunny. We've got time to do it. So let's get that organized. Um, manage and yeah, try putting them in first. And then top it up with them. 99%, that's good enough for me. Go back, do the oxygen. I've got to add more oxygen tanks to the gun bunny. She's only got three of the small oxygen tanks in her, and it's not enough. I really must get that uh, resolved. I keep forgetting to do it. Now, if we get to the end of the episode, 
and there's a couple of things that I have not made when we get back to base. Please do shout at me and tell me in the comments because I have to make a minigun, a personal minigun, and I have to make an upgraded rocket launcher for going into POIs. And hello, who are you? Are you what I think you are? This might well be loot. It might be a cargo drop. Guns do not pop off. Oh, it's a fr uh, freighter. Okay, it's not what I thought it was. It looks very much like the um, lost cargo containers. Right, so let's come in over the moon this way. Now, is that the pole right there? There we are. We've got another explorer's token for discovering this moon. Uh, an ice type moon. We've got a Xerox cannon drone below us. And we're still getting the quest thing come up every time we visit an appropriate planet or moon. Uh, which is to infiltrate, infiltrate the Xerox comms station is the next bit in the story. Right, I think we've got to do the third part of the the Titan. Actually, well, I thought I'd cleared that. C a colonist excavation site. Now that means we may have colonist resources, uh, colonist territory here, which is great. Uh, quick check on the map. Can't see it showing. Fly through this lot. Just to tag a few resources and then we'll head back up into space. I'm not ready to start scouring these moons for every possible resource and POI yet. I want a hunkier, chunkier ship. Magnesium deposits, good to find. Oh, cornered. Yeah, he's down. Oh, now that's a nice POI. Bye bye, drone. Right, this POI, if ever you see this POI, looks like it's got icicles hanging off it this is a, a really good loot POI and I will come back to this having re remembered that it's on this planet on this moon um, you've got thrusters in it you've got loot crates coming up the yin yang uh, you've got a lot of spiders as well by the way to warn you um, if you're not a spider person, then don't go in this one. But it look when you first look at it like this, it looks like there's absolutely nothing there. But for example, you see that internal light just poking through that hole. Well, I can see it better now. That's one of the chambers that's got loot containers in it, and there are loads of them. You see there's an entrance there, you see the doorway um, in there, just there. That looks like that might be the core. I can't remember where the core is at. If I come up to this window and look through, you can see the cargo boxes and all of the equipment and everything lying around. It's absolutely full of stuff very much worth doing what are we shooting at guns give me a clue wow you're shooting at a drone 600 meters away you're getting a bit beyond yourself aren't you 
close in, give you a help. Really should go loot these drones, especially considering the ammo that they're making me use. That one's a cannon drone. Hello, what's that? Pentaxid crystals? Looks like it. If it's not pentaxid, then it's promethium crystals. Lots of them around here. I don't see any Xerox ground troops defending them, which is unusual. Magnesium deposits over there, several very smalls, some cobalt deposits, all very small, promethium small. Nothing hugely that we're interested in here. It's all standard stuff that we can find on our own moon. So I got the Explorer's token, which is what I was after. Let's head back to space. Let's head home. So, heading home, should be on the hood, and it's not, Schween base, there we are, that's the one we want, that's the direction we're going to go, so we just get out of the gravity pull, and I'll pit, hit cruise control, and then set course, should be about it, yep, that'll do, map, this one, um, Juin. We're going to go back to Juin. Target. And we're at full speed already. Press K. And off we go. Zoom. How far away from the planet are we? Oh, and it's lovely to have that waypoint for the base up now, because I can tell which side of the planet it is, both in terms of left or right, and front or back. So let's just check what the constructors are up to. Oh, that one's out of work. Um, now we'll get it to make another 50 of them. Oops. And the other one, get it to make another 50 of them as well, just to use up some of that stone. I mean, I, it probably won't have finished by the time we get back, but might as well try for it. it all, it saves fuel from the generators back at the base, because we're already running the generators while we're flying. Might as well use the excess power to run the, the constructors here in the ship. And down we go. Sanctuary. That means the base is on this side of the hills. There's the spider nest. Spiral down. There's the desert. Elder's tomb. And the base should be just around here. Whoops. Halt. Nearly overshot there. The base is actually below, directly below us. We came in right, right above it, which I didn't expect. I thought we'd be coming in at an angle. And luckily the gun bunny's got the thrust that I can stand her on her nose. Especially on a, a planet like this, which has just got a slightly lower than Earth gravity. Open door, let me in. Open says me. Bring it in. Swing it round. On a standing spin like this, her yaw speed is terrible. When she's actually flying, it's very, very quick. Um, get her pointing due west. Go external, because it's the easiest way to tell how close to the wall I am. That 
Do. Down. Bonk. Go back to the cockpit. And I can't switch her off just yet because I've got food in the fridge that I need to move. So let's move all the stuff that we've got. Um, so fridges first. Get them empty, then I can turn her off. And base. Fridge. Fridge munchables, where are we? Fridge products, there we go. Oh, for some reason we lost a bunch of stuff. What the heck? Um. Right, switch that off now. I'm going to jump out and make sure the base is on. Which it wasn't. That's why we lost a load of food. Somehow I managed to switch the base off. Right, let's get back in there. And... That's upsetting. But we didn't lose everything. I got back in time that we still got some stuff um, there. Uh, right. So... Uh, where are we? Harvest box. That's what I'm looking for. Harvest box. Yeah, that's... We lost some finished foods. I bet you we lost a ton of ingredients. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that hurts. Especially losing these. Because these were my supplies for making meds. Foods I'm not worried about. We've got the farm. We can regrow food. And I've got, always got enough non-perishable food to last me for a couple of days. So, uh, well, we can now make an absolute ton of fertilizer and go sell it to the talent. Yeah, stack's too full. Um, Munchables. Luckily, we didn't lose too much on the Munchables. Now, that's a, a complete not a noob mistake, and that's on me. That somehow I turned the base off when I left. And... I'm not sure how I did it. It's possible it ran out of fuel. Um, I'll have a look when I get out. But I think I actually turned it off. Right, so harvest box into the bulk ores. So we'll have all that stone up there. Silicon ore into there. Got no copper or iron ore or anything like that. Nope. Right. Zascosium goes roughly there. Nice to have all that Zascosium. It really is. Actually, that's the wrong way around. Put the smaller stack on the, on the top and that gets used first then. Uh, Sathium goes here. Neodymium goes there, Sathium goes back, Titanium goes there, Sathium, Neodymium over here. Which was one of the minerals that I went out to get. I didn't spot any Neodymium, which is odd. Titanium, we've got one Titanium all left. <laughs> right, just check the materials box, see if there's any space for either of these two. Space for a little bit of that. And a little bit of that. And then those can go in the bulk ingots. Right, champion. That's that done. Back to player. Make sure I'm not carrying anything that I shouldn't be. Well, actually I am. Um, if we go to ship store. And if I put those there 
out or minus for the deployment. And we've got those that we've got to hand in at the gin terminal somewhere. Oops, wrong. Sorry about that, folks. Right, jump out. Right, just check the base. Uh, yeah, she's out of fuel. That's what it was. So, base, uh, cargo... Well, that's cargo box on. Cargo box H2O and O2. It's not H2O and O2. It's fuels we want. Prometheums. There we go. Prometheums. Which means the solar panels have not been doing their jobs. And I've only got three fuel tanks in place. So I'm going to have to attend to that. lights on that's better right now we're gonna have to go and sort this nonsense out in here and of course it's possible yeah a lot of the plants haven't um matured to harvest yet just make sure we've got no extra no extra spoilage in there And base under attack. Okay, Xerax, I'm just in the mood for giving somebody a kicking after losing all that food, all those uh, ingredients. Where are you? They're coming that way, so odds are it's a troop ship. Solo, coming, swinging round over the hill. That's it destroyed. Just destroyed it before it touched down. Oh, come on, get up the hill. Oh, your jets are off, Gaz. Whoa, what happened there? Um. Oh, it did deploy. You don't get me, you sneaky little rat back. Ow. Missed. Okay. Switch guns. Two. Be another one somewhere. Let's see, he didn't get off the transport. Maybe he was disembarking. Got some loot off him. No. No. Stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Stand on him to keep place if you got to. Oh. Tell you what. Blast the hole in there and that should help me to stand still. There we go. And that gave us a reload on that. Uh, number one. I'd also almost killed me because I shot myself at the same time. Right, what do we get off then? Uh, salamis, money cards, and some ammo. That's all good. Right, best I take a health kit then. I don't want to take another full health kit, so I'm going to take use some bandages there. Get my gun out. Um. <sighs> uh, 
And another bandage. There we go. That's about it. Oh, nice. Laser upgrade kit. And a tier 2 projectile pistol. And fuel packs. Always welcome. And some antibiotic ointment. Nice. Wasn't sure if we'd get anything off that because there were troops on the ground. Sometimes it won't give you it if it's managed to get troops down. Anyway, we're going to put that ointment in the fridge. Right, we haven't got any of that made. Uh, is there any in here? Should have been some in here. Ah, uh, fertilizer. Have a look. Market price average 101. Well, we have got a ton of it. Purified water we need a load of. Uh, we've got some. We don't, we're not overflowing with it exactly. Um... Although we can be very quickly if I go get some. Do, can we make it in here or is it in the... No, we make it in the other side. Um, yeah, we make it in the other side. So I can go get some from the lake. We got three water extractors down there. Get a load of water made. Produce it straight through into here. Uh, we're going to need stone dust. So it's four stone dust per... So we can make about 250 fertilizer out of that. It's only one spoiled food, unfortunately. We've got enough spoiled food there to make over 2,000 nutrient solutions and sell them to the Xerax. Which would be nice, because that would be about 200,000 credits. Which would be very, very useful. Um... Right, so if I go get some water... Oh, we've got to put these other bits away first. Do it from here. Um, devices, Prometheums, Access. Put them in there. Ammo box. Put that in there. Money box I'll hold on to. Uh, bridge. Edibles. Actually, that goes in ingredients, doesn't it? We use that for making the, uh, the ration packs. Right, and then guns. We're going to put it in Gaza's gear, or we're going to put it. In, well, we'll put it in sellable uh, surplus weapons. Yeah, we've got it in there. Put them like that. Starting to build a collection of them, but that will keep. Uh, guns and stuff anywhere. Guns and there we are. Guns and stuff. Um. Oh, we don't have one of them. Nice. We'll keep that then. Right. So that's that. Um. Keep them on us for when we next go across to um sanctuary. And go and get the water the lake of course the radioactive fogs moved in so we need to move quickly when we go down there um 330 we'll take them all Three lots of 330, so that's 990. Which will make uh, 9,900 bottles of water, I believe. Uh, right, so materials. Already got some down there, excellent. Put them ones up the top and. Just use the small constructor. But the small constructor is still busy. And how many do we get? We get ten per water container. So 
we need about 2,000 through there. So I need to make about 200 of these. Right, so one, two, oops, and fridge ingredients. Phew, got that before it started outputting. Excellent. And I need more crushed stone in there, though. Um, right, where are you out? Where are you taking from? Oh, you're working exclusively within that. Okay. Uh, use you. We go to ores. We've got that stone there. Oops, wrong. Back. And we go to fridge ingredients. Where are we? Be up the top because we're linked in on it on something. There we are. Our fridge ingredients has got 1500 in it. And if we make stone dust, we use five to get 20. Um, so if I make 300, whatever that uses, it uses. I'll fill that up nicely for making food. It's rattling through that quite quickly. That's good. Um, we need to have a little munch before we go any further. So, we've got different life remaining on these. Um, actually, they've got the same lifespan, so I'll put them in the same stack. That one there, uh, that's 205. I actually only need one of these. Perish time 17. Perish time 50. Yeah, so we use one of these. Try not to make that same mistake of letting the base run out of fuel again. God, that was such a noob trick. I should have checked that before I left. Anyway, that's about it for this week. Um, I'll just harvest what I can while we're while I'm thanking you all for watching and listening to my drivel um none of them's ready some of them's ready good so um don't forget, join me again. I'm Gazbeard. This is Empyrean Galactic Drivel. Sorry, Empyrean Galactic Survival. Um, <laughs> yeah. Goes there, we need milk in there. Right. Um, bit of a disappointment coming back and finding the base out of power and so much stuff in the fridges spoiled but it could have been worse we could have lost everything in the fridges we didn't i got i must have come back not too long after the base ran out of power so yeah that happens and it's something to watch out for thanks for watching We'll be back again next Wednesday with another episode in this series. And on Saturday, I'll give you another update on Project Broadsword and a few other things that I've been working on because I've not been able to get as much done on Broadsword as I was wanting to get done. But I'm, you know, I'm trying to find the time to remedy that. It's just I've got so many things on the go. Anyway, as always, give the video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i do appreciate it very very much and i'm trying to grow the channel and it's so painfully slow i've been on a 600 plus or minus 20 for about four years now i really would like to break out of that number and get north of it towards a thousand please subscribe to the channel um that's me begging yes on my knees whining H hands held in prayer please subscribe to the channel get your friends to do it bribe your family to do it help me out help an old guy out um and leave your comments down below i'll be back soon thanks for watching take care everybody as always from me it's not goodbye just bye for now